Hello dear friends, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we will going to see how to design your API using OAS 3.0. Right. So OAS 3.0 stands for Open API Specification. Okay. In last video, we have seen how to create a API specification project using AnyPoint Studio of type OAS 3.0 and sync with Design Center using Git and AnyPoint Studio. Okay. So generally open api specification can be written in yaml or json format in this particular video we will going to use yaml for design our api using oas 3.0 we will going to use a simple use case where we have to define a four endpoints the first endpoint is get slash post retrieve all the post post slash post create a single post get slash post slash id so id is your path parameter and you can also call this as a uri parameter so retry a single post and delete slash post slash id id is again a unique uri parameter and post is nothing it's a resource so you can delete the resource or you can delete the post for that particular id so get should return the array of post it uh, create just we can create a single post get uh, it uh, it should just return a single post and delete just will delete a single post so these are the four methods so let me start and just press enter and now tab i will define my first resource this is of type post so for post i want i will just provide some kind of description i will say this is used to create or retrieve the post now i will define my both method one is of type get one is of type post okay i've done that now second thing i want also have something related like i want to retrieve a single post or delete a single post using id id as a path parameter i will say curly bracket id i've defined my post i'll just say description this is used to retrieve or delete single post okay then under that i want two method get delete okay so under that i have to define a two method get and delete so i define that so my this particular skeleton is ready fine so now next thing what we will do we will start focusing on this get method so for get method first thing i will provide some kind of description this is used to retrieve all the post then i have to define a response so get never have a request body it will always have a response so i will define response then what kind of response i want 200 okay then i will just provide some kind of description for this it's a mandatory field I'll just say success response. That's it for post. Then I have to define content type, which is of type application slash JSON. Now I have to define the schema. So you have to define your JSON schema here. So either you can define your JSON property or JSON schema here, or like uh, if you want to enhance your, or if you want like uh, this particular schema needs to be reused across the multiple resources path. So open API specification provides something called components. So whatever you return in the under the components that can be reused across the multiple resources. So instead of uh, writing the schema under the get method, I will define a components. Okay, let components under components. I will define a schemas. I will give the name of schema to post. You can give any name. I will just define the type of schema. It is the type of object. But you know, like for get method, we require type equals to array. I will show you how we can do that. Then I will start uh, defining a properties. Okay. Here I will define my properties. I want ID. I want title. Then I want body then i want 
ID title body I want type okay under this I can define something called required required so what are the fields required so I want ID so what are the mandatory fee by default it's not required but whatever you define under your required field so that is under mandatory field now I, I want to define some data type for that so it support all kind of data type integer strings you know everything so I will say string even you can give the example so you have, if you provide more and more information into open API specification it will generate a rich documentation for you again I can say put tab type string example I can provide something called mule soft introduction example this is mule soft introduction again I will define a type what type of post is its example will be a technical post okay so I define my component let me go to schema and this is something called dollar ref which can be used to reference your component a schema defined under the component just press enter it will show a whole path just click on that now go to get method I hope there is no error with the get method so go to get method so under get you can see uh, like uh, you can see water description provide it's there and also you can see media type you can see this is the a body a response body but I can see there is a one problem with the response body that it is an object it is not of type array because whenever you get the response for retrieve all the posts so it will contain multiple posts so that will be within the array so what you can do I will define one more type of schema which is post can define posts which is of type array then I can say items then I can say dollar ref just press enter and just reference a post which we have created just now okay and just change this here to posts go back to your get method and let's check if this converted into array or not this is converted into array correct okay so we have seen the first thing now next thing for post first thing we will provide a, some kind of description this is this use to create post right now for for post we have a request body correct so I will define the request body so for request body first thing you have to define content what is the content type I can say application slash JSON then tab then you have to define the schema then under the schema you have to just use dollar rep and you can use the single post like uh, the component of type post correct it is giving me error because we haven't defined the responses for this under the response 201 we always use 201 for any resource creation and I will provide some kind of description as always it's mandatory like I can say post created right then I can start defining my content you can say application JSON you can provide example or schema I will just provide schema description okay and I can say post created now I go to post method and let's check what happens so you can see this is your request body it's saying like what are the fields we require because we have defined here required equals ID required title required body required we have seen that and also it created it also showing the response 201 everything is good like it is generating a very uh, rich documentation see description and all those things is very important you don't just ignore those fields which is very important this, this will give uh, like uh, this will make other understand like what this particular API is doing you know? so let go to the second thing this post so we will go to get first thing again description this is used to retrieve single post okay now forget we don't have a request body we simply have a responses what response we will have 
at 200 now what we will do we will define content so i forget one thing which is description i can say success response whatever you can provide the rich description which is of type contain is of type application json then you provide the schema ref then only single post right i don't want posts i want single post that's it we have defined our po like post id also as you can see but uh, yeah you can see that everything is good now other thing let me start defining for delete also same thing description this is used to delete the post then you can define sorry responses and under the responses you can define 204 then again description it's a mandatory uh, post deleted i will keep it simple then contain application suggestion then schema so under schema i can simply provide description post deleted okay but also i want to define this id as my path parameter so what you can do you can have a something called parameters you can provide id i'm sorry so basically you can provide in so in so in is nothing like you you are saying like whether it's a header parameter or query parameter or it's a path parameter for now it's a path parameter so what is the name of my path parameter which is id always make sure for path parameter you always say required true okay you always say that you always say that required equals to true you, you always make sure required true then press enter then you have to define your schema then i can say type string okay if you want some kind of example i think it should have something called example also yeah, you can define the example okay so one two three this is the example i've defined that uh, you can remove this okay so i can copy this same thing i will show you how we can reuse in later videos but for now i just keep it simple i will copy it here and i can show it here okay and now if you go to your get method it will swing also uri is the your path parameter it will show some kind of code example and everything let me go to delete also so it will show everything there so this is generating a rich documentation for you you can save everything but still the things is not uh, still the things is not sync with your design center let me press enter and let's check if anything is sync with design center no i think it should not be so save everything and just say you can save everything just go to this below view and just click on this plus sign changes done and just commit and push let me refresh it and it you should see everything yeah you can see everything has been reflected here right your documentation everything you can see it here basically right so so in next video we will see how to add header parameter how to add query parameters and like we will see like how we can reuse this particular part you know uh, across the multiple resources so i i hope you like the video thanks for watching the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button